Bear Squad, what is up? It is Polar Bear, and I am back. After the uh, after the mess with having the channel hijacked, I am wicked excited to be back onto the daily videos. I'm super sorry that I couldn't get footage of us locating the two new snack machines. I'll talk about them a bit in this video, but I uh, definitely definitely appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, we're gonna fill up one of the new snack machines today. Uh, guys, as always, real quick, if you want to do me a huge favor, check out the links in the description below. It helps the channel grow and it helps the channel uh, sustain itself. I would really appreciate it. I'm not going to go too far into depth today on any of that stuff, but I uh, just wanted to throw it in there. So here's the first peek at it, guys. It is a silver USI. I can't remember the model number right off the top of my head, but uh, it's not the same one that we had there before. Definitely not. This is a newer model. It's got a better bill acceptor. We've got a little bit better of a coin acceptor in it. The light works. It's a much, much better machine. Um, this is the first time that I'm really diving pretty heavy into the machine. Um, I went down to mass and I purchased it from a friend. I'm actually, I'm actually going to be buying a lot of machines from this friend. Um, if you guys need parts or stuff, Get a hold of me because this friend of mine might actually have what you need and if I can help you uh, that would be great I would uh, really like it if I could so uh, we have made an executive decision to go from the big bags to the small bags the margins just not there and the big bags of chips anymore and uh, the small bags are, it's about the equivalent if you sell them for a dollar your margins are about the same as a can of soda and that's where we would like to be. That would be the best bet. So we also have a bit more of a variety to choose from with these bags. Um, I should not have gotten the, uh, the specific, apparently this box that I got is a dollar more expensive than the other box and doesn't have quite as many options. So I'm kind of wishing that I would have gotten the other box that BJ's had. I'll show you in a later video. Um, also, if you guys are interested, I know a couple of you were asking for like straight up uncut footage, but the majority were not. The channel that I started when my channel got hacked to continue posting daily uploads, um, I will have in the description below. Um, you're welcome to go over there. I'll be posting uncut, pretty much uncut, unedited footage over there. And um, I literally just put everything together some of the videos will be 20 minutes long some of the videos will be hour and a half two hours long depending on how long the visit is but nothing will be sped up and uh, you'll be able to hear what's going around how I'm interacting with people stuff like that so if you guys are interested in that um, that will be the first link in the description below and you're definitely welcome to go check that out so I'll never understand why they need 16 packs of Cheetos in these 50 count, <laughs> these 50 count one ounce bags. Like never understood that, but I had to double up on a couple of things to make it work. I guess I could have put smart food in there. I was kind of in a rush this day because uh, time has been an issue. Oh my gosh. I need to tell you guys the story about U-Haul. Oh my word. <laughs> So when I went and got these machines, it was a Thursday. I was, I was supposed to get the hitch installed on the van on a Thursday. I brought the van in, dropped it off, and they uh, installed the hitch but didn't install the wiring. Uh, Josie was following me in, and she said that everything was working fine as far as my lights went when I fall in. I used my blinker to go in, blinker worked fine, dropped it off. Well, they told me they couldn't install the wire harness because the blinker wasn't working and the four ways weren't working. And I was like, they were working this morning when I dropped it off and uh, they made me pay for everything, whatnot, which was fine. I don't, it's whatever it's over with. I don't really care anymore, but uh, they, uh, what ultimately happened, I went to a shop and had them figure out what was going on, and it looks like someone shorted out my uh, flashers. Both of them, there's two of them. There's, uh, there's the hazard flasher and the regular flasher. 
I don't know why there's two different ones on my vehicle, but there is. And uh, both of them were shorted out, so I had to replace them. And as I'm getting them replaced, I was just going to have the same mechanic go through and put my uh, trailer wire harness in. And then uh, U-Haul calls me because I had gotten a hold of corporate at this point, and I was just like, uh, maybe you can fix this for me. And uh, they called me and said, well, why don't we come over? We'll install the harness. I assumed that that was for free. I didn't realize that uh, he was going to charge me for it after they screwed up my van. <laughs> well, went over there. He didn't say anything about anything and then uh, proceeded to charge me afterwards. It was just... So this is a Friday now that this is all happening, right? I'm supposed to be down picking up the machines on Friday. We didn't get done till the end of the day and uh, wound up going down Friday night to pick up the machines. But uh, it was wicked late. It was like 12 in the morning when we, uh, when we got back. 12.30, I think it was, when we got back. So the next day, Saturday, we had to have the uh, trailer back or we got the trailer Friday after we got the wire harness done right and we had to have the trailer back for 4 30 p.m. on Saturday so uh, we got back up we got everything and uh, my brother and I went out and we located these two machines it took every bit of that day we just barely got the trailer back on time <laughs> So I did not have time to film. I, there's probably cases where I could have thrown a couple of seconds in and gotten some footage, but it just didn't happen. And I'm super sorry about that. I wanted to live stream it. We just, we really didn't have the time to make things work properly. So anyways, now that that story is over, you guys will probably see that I'm only putting like four or five in at a time. The reason for this is I don't know what's gonna sell well. Uh, this is the first time having a snack machine ready to go in here. So I'm kind of hoping that what I put in here sells well, and if it doesn't, I can trade it out and put something else in. The stuff that does sell well, I'll make sure that I fill the entire rack with next time. That, and I don't want to go through every bit of product that I just went through and purchased. I'm kind of concerned about these in this machine. I'm not sure how well the cookies are going to work in this machine. Just because they don't, uh, if anything, they should probably be in another they should probably be in another uh, column up top instead of one of these big columns. I've been putting them in the big columns, so it's just not... I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see when I go back and visit it again next week. But uh, we've got the famous Amos back. A lot of people talk about Grandma's cookies. I've never seen them. Never even heard of them. But uh, famous Amos is a big thing up here. Uh, a lot of people say that grandma's cookies are everywhere, but I i don't think I've ever seen them anywhere up here. Just goes to show things are a bit different in different places. Now, I didn't realize it ahead of time, but I had uh, already sold out a ramen, and I wanted to put ramen in this location, but uh, I didn't wind up doing it. So we're going to bring everything back to the van real fast, and then... What's going to happen from here is we're going to label the machine and make sure everything's working properly. It took me a second to figure the machine out. Well, actually, it didn't take me long at all. You'll see. So we're just going to load everything back up in the van. We are going to get the um, that guy right there. The Man, I can't think of what it's called. Label maker. There we go. Brain was not functioning just now. The label maker, some nickels. So I know the nickel portion was empty. See, I should have put the smart food in there too. Those are the cups of ramen that I have back there. I don't know why I brought this in. I do not remember bringing that in. <laughs> Maybe I was going to move stuff around and I just never got to it. I'm not sure. So we have a customer in there now, so I got to kind of. Try to work around the customer and be respectful, you know? So, we're just going to crack these guys open, toss them right in there. I was there for, this is about an hour and 15 minutes worth of footage. I had to speed it up a bit more than I really like to speed it up. 
but uh, we definitely got everything going here. Uh, we're gonna fill this whole thing up with nickels. I think uh, I think we only wound up putting yeah we only wound up putting one roll of nickels in there. I wanted to have the uh, I wanted to have the dollar bills to make sure everything was working and functioning properly. I have already made sure it's working and functioning properly, but I just wanted to double double check it, you know. So this is how I label my prices. I don't really like the old school USI setup. I never really have because it maxes out at 95 cents and that just doesn't really work. So I take a uh, label maker You can buy these things at Walmart or maybe I'll put a link in the description below to buy it on Amazon. Um, and then you just put them in there, make it look uniform. I've got them for a dollar a piece, those bags. And I buy them for like, I think those ones specifically were 32 cents a piece. I like to be, I would prefer to be at like the 29 cents a piece area, but what you'd like to be and what you can be are two different things sometimes. I just go through and all of the, I can't remember what I labeled the snacks as. I think I, maybe they're $1.50 or $1.25, the smaller stuff. The almonds are 75 cents. I buy the almonds for super cheap. And the uh, gum is 25 cents. I think I buy gum for seven cents a piece. No, I buy it for, I make seven cents per pack of gum. I don't really make a whole lot. But I sell them for 25 cents, so I probably buy them for what, 18 cents? Something like that. So we're just getting all the dollar stuff out of the way. Throughout this narration, I've yawned like four times and I've been trying to hide it. Sorry guys. <laughs> I should have put 50 cent labels in there because I'm pretty sure I'm going to put um, ramen in there at the end of the day when everything's done. I haven't put ramen in there yet, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going to wind up going in there. So we've got the... Uh... Oh, I can't see how much that was. How much was it? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. I can't remember. If I looked in Vensoft, it'd tell me. I think that says a dollar fifty. Think it's a dollar fifty. Yep, it is. It's a dollar fifty. So I'm trying to bring the margin up a little bit with the candy bars because the margin on the candy bars is not good at all. I think I'm paying in between sixty-seven cents and eighty-five cents per um, candy bar or whatever. I'm trying to bring those margins up to where they're competing with everything else that I have. We've got the chip margins up, except for at the airport. Uh, our margins are never going to be good at the airport because we're competing with someone else there. So we've actually, I've actually got to go service that location soon. Got to have Reese's. Reese's are like, I don't know, they're like a pillar item. You've got to have them. So this is what I do when I initially set up these machines. I go through and put brand new labels on them and make everything look nice and pretty. We got to uh, we got to program the prices in too. I'm going to show you how to do that. I think I'm setting up a 75 cent sticker here. Is it the almonds? It's going to be the almonds. Yep. Bam. We still have 25 cent stickers. We got to make two for the uh, two two packets of gum there bam 25 cents other ones already ready 25 cents and we're good to go I think the programming starts soon I actually programmed this machine a lot faster than I thought it would so I just press the button press number five you select your option I was reading the manual real quick and then you just go through and set your prices. I did this really, really fast. I wound up, I was pretty proud of myself how quickly I got this done. We'll just turn the music up and let you guys watch this for a little bit.
All right, so at this point, I think we're pretty much all set. We've got all the prices set. Everything's good to go. We're just gonna go um, trade in that for a couple of dollar bills. Make sure the dollar bills are working. And then we're gonna clean everything up. Um, I had to fix, I had to fix something. We'll show you at the end. Took the bill the first time, fends out the product. I actually specifically chose two coils that I was worried about because there was some free wires in the back and uh, everything worked fine. I was, I was happy with the way it worked out. Um, so just now I opened that thing and I noticed there's a problem. You can see the, uh, you see that that's just not, you can see the problem right there. It's just not working right. So we need to get a screwdriver and fix this. Just make sure everything works good. We'll put these back where they belong. Put that guy back there. And now we're gonna run out to the van and grab the screwdriver kit. Always keep a tool kit. I remember watching one of uh, Timo's videos where he did a uh, collab with uh, Sean the Hustler. And they talked about always having a tool kit. And they're right, you should always have a tool kit. Definitely. Man, I gotta clean up the van. I've always gotta clean up the van. I actually cleaned it up and then I made a mess again. <laughs> This is just, uh, just the way it works, I guess. So we're gonna come back in here. This screwdriver winds up being too long. I can't really fit it in there. I could see that it would be too long immediately, so I tried to shorten it. You just see I can't really fit it in there right to make it work. Fortunately for me, these guys actually had the right size screwdriver made my life a lot easier glad they had it that would have been a real nightmare trying to do it with that one you see me getting frustrated actually <laughs> I'm just like this is not working he runs out there and he grabs one for me these guys are great these guys have always treated me really well they uh granted nothing's ever really gone horribly wrong at this location either so but they gave me a lot of time to get a snack machine in there. If you don't have the capital to work with, then it takes a while. I'm hoping that we're gonna start, I'm actually setting a goal. I wanna have $1,000. On our next collection, I wanna take $1,000 and just put it in the bank and that's gonna be the minimum and the rest of it we'll put into product. You see we're lining this sucker back up just to make sure, uh, just to make sure that it closes properly. What happens is when you open that door, another door in the back opens up to make it so people can't reach up and grab stuff. Now we're gonna check it, make sure it works. Yep, it's working fine. Put the top back on. Screw everything into place. Now remember guys, the same video will be released on my other channel um, without being sped up. It'll be, I think it's something like an hour and 15 minutes long. You gotta clean up the glass. Always make sure your glass is clean. I don't do it every time I visit, but I do do it every now and again when I visit just to make sure the glass is really clean. In this particular case, I'm um, pretty sure this machine had been sitting for a pretty serious amount of time. So I wound up washing the glass a couple of times over. I was putting a lot of effort into cleaning and like buffing the glass. Oh, it looks so much better already. But I did go through and I looked at it a couple times and definitely needed a lot of cleaning. <laughs> it looks good now though. Hey Bear Squad, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. Remember to love life, live your dreams. Stay beautiful, guys. Peace out.